Hello, guys. Yesterday, it was everywhere on social media that Pastor Adeboye said, he is sorry oh, for telling Christians that uh, if you don't pay your tithe, you will not make heaven, that that thing, see, you not know, the Bible, say he apologize. You know, a majority of people come down to trick math for the matter. See, don't say when they talk this thing, say people, you know, say some pastors, they deceive, you know, Christians. Say they go tell you, say, if you not pay tithe, you not go go heaven, you get even to the extent, say they constantly bring out one video of a man of God that was talking about the apple uh, Adam took in the Garden of Eden. He said that did not be apple like that. Say people not understand. Say that apple, you know, that Adam took that God told Adam not to eat is tight, and that is why God, you know, was really very very angry with Adam and Eve because they ate is tight one tenth of their income so that is just that apple they are talking about in fact yesterday it was boom on the social media i want to shock you now that pastor adebo you don't come and come talk say he never asked christians not to stop paying tight he said 10 percent is minimal and for beginners adebo he acknowledged that he had apologized for any previous statement on Titan that may have been misunderstood. But after the online debate that greeted an earlier statement credited to the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, RUCCG Pastor Enoch Adeboye, about Titan, the cleric has refuted claims that he advised Christians to stop paying tight. At the church, church October Holy Ghost service on Saturday at the Redemption City on the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, Ogun State, Adeboye said he was mis, uh, misinter misrepresented on his comment about Titan. Adeboye acknowledged that he had apologized for any previous statement on Titan that may have been misunderstood. However, he denied discouraging tight payments. The issue of Titan became continuous and uh, I decided to apologize for anything I might have said wrong. Yet within an hour, it was being circulated online that I said Christians should stop paying tight. Adeboye said. So he stated that, in fact, he encouraged believers to pay more than 10% as tight, referencing an encounter at Kenneth Hangings Church, where a man shared how his financial institution improved after committing to tight 90% of his income. He said, today I am close to giving uh, 90%, but I am far from 10%. So I said it is wrong to limit yourself to 10% when God can take you to higher percentage. As you grow in the Lord, you should grow in praising him, winning souls, and in giving. I said that for beginners, the minimum is what God calls 10%. I said, from now on, begin to increase what you give. He added, of all I said, the only thing they put on the internet is that Adeboye apologized and therefore people should no longer pay their tithes. I said 10% should be the minimum. In an earlier Vera video, Adeboye had said we need to be apologizing for making a mistake for saying that if you don't pay tithes, you may not make it to heaven. I am sorry, that is wrong. That is not in the Bible. What, his, what the Bible says is be at peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see God. It is possible to be right and wrong at the same time. I may have been a scientist, so I know that. For years, we thought that light travels in straight lines, but later we discovered it is not straight. 
as a record, life travels in waves, going in one direction, but in waves. It is wrong to limit you to 10% at a time when some of you should be 20%, 30%, 40%. 10% should be for beginners. Giving should be uh, voluntary. So guys, when I don't hear and now, these old crook Nigerians are talking, you know, should stop being smart by half. He told Christians that he were destined for her. If they did not pay, they were destined for her if they did not pay tight. He apologized for it. No one accused him of asking Christians to stop paying tight. This is just a pulley to avert fire probably coming from his fellow tight caving con men of uh, uh, whatever they call themselves. You see another transgender, <laughs> I beg, I don't want to talk this one. This one are reactions. You see, Nigerians are not happy that after he have said that he's coming up, he's coming out again to say another. So they are not saying past or rest, you get. You don't already talk Waiting God don't already tell you, you know, in secret, make you do. So coming out here to come and justify what we have already said before, it doesn't make sense. Understand? Just live on the way he be before. Nobody don't accuse you, say you apologize. It's even it takes it takes a big heart to do that for you to come out to say, see, this, 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 and that. It was wrong that this is how we have been going about it, but this is the right thing to do. God not go crucify you, say you not pay tight. So coming back again to come and tell people that no, that is not what you mean. You what you are saying that even ten percent is too small. It depends on you know what what you are doing or what you have. When Nigerians make a living for you, uh, because this is really getting more interesting. Yes, it's getting more interesting. Uh, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Share your thoughts below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you and bye for now.